In today's episode of Less for Food, we'll be making a nice apple crumble. Help give everyone ready for the Christmas season. So can you let us know some of the key ingredients we'll need today? In this precise recipe, we have used 300 grams of flour, 175 grams of brown sugar, 450 grams of apple, and 200 grams of butter. And for the, uh, let's say, how would you say, marination of apples, you need 50 grams of brown sugar and a spoonful of flour, and literally cinnamon as you please. Okay, so what's our first step today? Well, our first step I would say is to get the butter and cut it up in little cubes mm -hmm. and just leave it on the side because it has to be soft. Okay. So that's what we've done and that's what we're doing. Alright. And our next step? The apples. Yes. Next step is the apples. We have already cut them up here, mm -hmm. but I will just cut one up for the time being. Should they so, be should they be this size or this Yes. Okay. They should have a diameter approximately of one centimeter, I'd say. Okay. And all you have to do is just Peel it and cut it and just let them stay. And this is good because as the crumble will be formed, um, um, as the crumble will be formed, the apples can marinate within the sugar and the cinnamon. Okay. So after we cut all the apples and dice them, what's our next step? What we do after that is we get the flour mm -hmm. and we sift it okay. and we put it into a bowl with the brown sugar. I personally like to add some cinnamon, so I have, okay. and then you just mix it up and you make sure that all of the two ingredients have been mixed together. Mm -hmm. And before just going on to the addition of the butter, we're going to add the ingredients into the apple and give that a mix. Would you like to help? Sure. Alright, so the next step is very delicate, I think because it's about forming the crumble in itself. So rather than simply mix and mash up the butter with the flour, we have to kind of crumble it. So the technique is about mixing butter slowly, mm -hmm. a bit at a time. It requires a bit of time, but I mean, the results are very nice. So, so I just throw butter in and I cover it, and then you use just your fingertips and you form a crumble. Okay. So we're gonna get our apples that we've marinated and we're just gonna toss them in and level them. Then once that's done, we're gonna touch the crumble in. very simple recipe. It is, that's what's fantastic of it. Mm -hmm. I think what's really good with apple crumble is when you buy apples and they're rather ripe and they're about to go, well, let's say, to pumps, you really wouldn't want to eat them. Uh -huh. You can always cook them. And cooking food is really good. Uh -huh. I mean, it saves money and just it's not a waste. So instead of throwing those apples away, you guys can put them in a nice apple crumble. So this is what a raw apple crumble should look like. Okay. Um, again, according to personal tastes, someone could sprinkle just a bit of cinnamon on top. Okay. But because I put it within the crumble in itself, I would just leave it like this. Okay. And all we have to do now is place it into a preheated oven of 180 degrees for around 40-45 minutes. Okay. 